Hello, welcome back, and it's Patrick from Pull Up Pals, and today we're going to be playing some Pokemon. And this will be my series, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to put up a lot of episodes of this, um, and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. I mean, I really love Pokemon, so nothing can go wrong. So, without further ado, let's start. I do encourage you guys to play along if you do have the game. If not, you can run it on an emulator like I'm doing so right now. Uh, so, just uh, some basic controls here. Uh, let's start. In the world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go. Be it towns, roads, or caves, gather information, hints from every source. I have played this game before, so I'm fairly knowledged and learned about this game, so I'm really excited. Uh, new paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. <clears throat> Those damn Weedles. Alright, through your adventure, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. Well, that is our biggest objective. Press the A button. Alright. Oh boy, who's this? Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world, oh god, is inhabited far and wide by the creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Pokemonology, Pokeology, whatever. It's it's Pokeology. He went to Stanford. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. All right. Am I a boy or a girl? Uh, hold on a sec, let me just check. Mm, yeah, that looks like a boy, okay. Alright, let's begin with my name. Uh, well, my name is Patrick, so... Um, let's go full caps. This, this game likes to have names as in full capitals, <laughs> so... Patrick! That's, that's gonna be my name. Uh, my name really, really loudly. I spelled that right, right? No oh, shit. Okay. Uh, Arrival. Okay, what's Arrival's name? Um, well, let's make it Robin. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. He's gonna be Arrival. He's gonna be kicking our ass the whole game, so... You know, as usual. Is it Robin? Yes, it is Robin. Patrick! Oh, sorry, that wasn't very enthusiastic. Patrick! Your very own Pokemon Legend is about to unfold. Yes, I know. Let's do this. Alright. So, um, here we go. Let's start uh, by taking out uh, the potion that we're given at the beginning. Uh, nothing else. Okay. This is going to be annoying. So, whoops, 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 whoops. Fast. There we go. Um... There we go. Perfect. Yep. Alright, let's do this. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello, Mother. What's up? Right, all boys leave home someday. I had said so on TV. Yes, Professor Oak next door was looking for me. What's on the TV? It's a movie. Four boys are walking on a railroad tracks. I better go too. Well, I'm gonna try not to get hit by the trains. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, I love the soundtrack. Oh, who's this? Daisy. Is it, uh... Ah, oh, what was it? Miss Crazy Daisy or whatever it was? It was a book in my childhood and it was just amazing. All right, where is oh? He's not here. What? It's only Patrick. Well, thanks, Robin. God. 
All right, your grandfather isn't around. Maybe because you're such a dick. God damn. All right. Well, as you guys know, uh, we do have to go up and start our adventure. So let's start. Oh my god. I've never seen an old man move so fast. Alright. You need your own Pokemon for protection. Alright. Alright, so Robin is fed up with waiting. Uh, really, Robin is actually a really patient person, so... <laughs> yeah, no, uh... Alright. Oh, look. Also, the grandpa has uh, Alzheimer's. It's great. Okay. Hey, Patrick, there are three Pokemon here. Aha! Okay, Robin wants to pick one as well. Okay. Well, uh, as you guys know, the Pokemon are Bulbasaur, uh, Charma uh, Squirtle, and Charmander. Uh, Charmander is my absolute most favorite Pokemon. It's always my go-to. But in this playthrough, um, not a lot. A lot of people choose Charmander and Squirtle. Not a lot of people choose Bulbasaur, and Bulbasaur is one of my top five favorite Pokemon. Um, like its evolutionary line, anyways. So we're gonna go with Bulbasaur because. He's just so adorable, look at him. I just love him. He's great. Alright, we're gonna have a pretty easy time through the first couple of gyms. Uh, yes, we're gonna nickname every Pokemon we catch, or try to at least. Um, let's go with the nickname I always give him, which is Bulby. Look at him, he's so cute. Alright. And of course he's gonna take Charmander. Of course. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, well, fine, Robin. Jeez, if you want to fight me that fast, all right, let's do it. All right, rival Robin sent rival Robin. All right, Charmander. Um, okay, so we have a female Bulbasaur. That's pretty good. Um, fun fact: seventy-five percent of the starters. Well, this, each starter has a seventy-five percent chance to be male. So, never really had a female starter before, so this could be interesting. Alright, uh, Bulby. Well, we want to win this fight, so we're going to growl the shit out of this guy. Come on! Yes, we have to lower. Oh boy. As long as he doesn't hit some bullshit criticals like they usually do, we should be fine. Okay, good. Perfect. Uh, how many was that? Three? Two, three? Okay, so he's only gonna be doing two damage, so that's good. Now we can tackle the shit out of him. There we go. Go, 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 go! Go, Bobby, go! Kick his ass! Like I said, uh, unless he hits some bullshit critical, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna win this. Yeah, disappointing. <laughs> uh, you know, there's only like two times that I've ever lost this. And this is now the third. I really hope that isn't representing of how this playthrough is going to go. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Uh, Daisy, give me the map. That is a map, right? Yes? I heard you had a battle. Oh, okay, fine. Don't give me what I need. That's fine. Alright, let's go. Uh, oh, of course. Oh, I've been thinking if I wanted a Pidgey, this um, 
this playthrough. We do need a flying type. Um, but you know what? I don't think we're gonna go with the Pidgey. Hmm. Pidgeys are useful, and I won't get one until much later. Like another flying type. I was thinking of going with a Sparrow. Uh, do I want to go with Pidgey? The rival's gonna have a Pidgey. Nah. Nah. Now we're gonna go for something else. Alright, this guy. Oh, come here. He's going to give us a potion, right? Yes. Oh, the little um, item sound when you get an item. I got that as my text tone. I'm so happy about it. It's so nice. Uh, let's see. There we go. Hi. What's this guy got to say? Oop. See those ledges? Uh, oh. Alright, so we're going to be jumping back. Damn these Pidgeys. Yeah, we should probably fight them. Get our levels up a little bit. I have a feeling that we're gonna need to, so <laughs> let's do that. Let's not die to another bullshit critical, please. Please, I swear to god. Kill, kill, kill. Yes. Good one. Oh, we hit a crit. It's good. This is gonna be a wonderful friendship, Bulby. It's gonna be a very beautiful friendship. Alright, Viridian City. Uh, let's go grab that item first. There we go. I'm going to keep glancing at my phone because of that. Oh. Alright, uh, I know that in the original, um, just over here, you could catch a Nidoran. But I'm pretty sure they removed that. So now you can only catch uh, Ratatats and Pidgeys and a Mankey. Um, I was thinking of having like a Primeape on the team. That'd be nice. Be a pretty strong hitter. But I'm gonna try and go for a kind of like a weird kind of Pokemon team. Ones that I usually wouldn't pick up. And. Can Butterfree learn fly? Uh, I wouldn't want that as my main flying type though. Ah, uh, yes, I did come from Pallet Town. Do I know Professor Oak? Well, I don't know, the one who went to Stanford. Oh, yes. Professor Oak, the one who moves really quickly but can't travel to this next town. Oh, Oak. Alright. So. Let's jump off these ledges. Woo! Alright, jump. 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 Let's do some more fights, if we can. Get that Bulbasaur to at least level 6. And catch up on the experience that we uh, lost. Alright. Tackle him. Perfect. Yeah, level six. I forgot to check our beginning stats. Um Pokemon in this generation all kind of start with different stats. Uh so let's see how's this one. This one is a very oh this one's very special defensive. And special attack based, okay. So that's not bad. So we're definitely gonna teach it a lot of special attack moves. Um, I was thinking of Sludge Bomb, that would be good. Um, I like going for a very uh, tanky kind of Bulbasaur. Ah, so that's that means I go for Leech Seed. Uh, I think it was called a big root, so it increases by all the healing that we receive from moves um, by 30%, which is, I th I'm pretty sure it's like 30% or whatever, um, or 1.2 times. It's really useful. 
and leech seed is just gonna keep us alive the whole time. Uh, what else? There's synthesis. That one's also very good. Um, razor leaf. I like to keep just for the criticals. Uh, right. So we're gonna get our Pokédexes now, and then I think I just throw in like a solar beam or something. I received five Pokéballs. All right. Oh, he's too old. Oh, like I said, he's a professor. He's... Oh. I won't be necessary for this. Oh. You know what, Robin? In this game, you're kind of a dick. I'm sorry. In in real life, he's like... He's just a sweetheart. He's, he's the nicest guy, but... The, the game just makes your rival seem like such an asshole. It's... Ugh. Thank you, Daisy. You give me that map. Thank you. Where the hell do you sleep? Well, I guess you can put the chairs together. Um, should I tell my mother I'm leaving? Uh, yeah. She'll make me... She'll uh, get my Pokemon up to full health as well. Alright. Uh, da 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 da. Up, 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 up. Oh jeez. They're gonna be super healthy now. Alright. Uh, let's just appreciate okay, never mind, we're not gonna appreciate the music at all. We're gonna fight more birds. Okay. Come on. Come on, bird, fight me. Going down, bird. Sweet. All right. Yeah, I like to try and level as fast as possible. Um, it's it's just nice to be ahead of the game, especially when you're going up against gym leaders. Uh, what's nice about when your own Pokemon? So, right now. I can level my Bulbasaur to level 20 before it starts disobeying me. Uh, whereas if I traded a Pokemon and I got one from a trade and used that one, it would only obey up to level 10. After level 10 and above, it's not going to listen. That's what I like about these games. And each of the badges are going to give, uh, they're going to boost some stats for all of our Pokemon that we caught. Uh, and I'm not going to go for 100% completion because I can't. This is on an emulated. Um, this is on an emulator, so I can't do that. And catching Mewtwo is not something we're going to be able to do. <laughs> um, yes. Okay. Thank you for teaching me how to use my. Oh. Uh, this is um, Professor Oak's professor that taught him everything he knows at Stanford. Um, he likes to stop children and throw balls at creatures. He's, he's pretty good. Look at that toss. He's, you know, back in the day, I bet he played some Major League Baseball. That, that throw, though, top notch. He's great. All right, so you got a Weedle. Sweet. Uh, was that not educational? Uh, no. Thank you. Alright, so now we have a, te a portable television. Um, so we've got five minutes left in this episode. Da, 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 da. I'm going to try and keep these episodes around 20 minutes long. About. Um, let's see. I'm kind of tempted just to watch all of the tutorials, but that would be boring, so let's not. Alright, what do you have to say? Ratatat may be... oh yeah, Ratatat, like if you keep uh, Ratatat through the whole game, it can pretty much annihilate everything in one hit. It's great, but I'm not going to be using that. I do love Caterpie. I've always used a Butterfree on my team. Um, well, when I was a kid, of course, I used Butterfree all the time. It was, oh, I love the Butterfree. It's such a cute Pokemon. Uh, okay, I got another potion, so that's good. 
Alright. So let's start going through Viridian Forest. Do, 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 do. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, um, so I probably should have grinded about two more levels before going in here. So, yeah, this may be a little bit of a problem. But I believe we're still part poison. So we shouldn't get super, uh, super effective hits on us. Yes, I'm pretty sure Bulbasaur is... It's been too long. Yes, okay good, so we're gonna be fine. It's gonna do regular damage, and we can't get poisoned, which is nice. Go, Baldi, go! Perfect. <clears throat> yeah, so we're gonna be leveling a lot. Pretty quickly. And there's our Leech Seed, so that's gonna be, that move is gonna remain with us for the whole game. Uh, oh, look at Caterpie. Isn't Caterpie just so cute? Oh. That's why I always catch it, because it's so cute. All of its stages are really nice. Um, it's just so bad late game. It's, it's not that great late game, because it, it dies to everything, because it's a bug type and a flying type. I don't remember how many weaknesses it has, but it's quite a lot. And its attacks and defenses aren't that great either, so. Unfortunately, Caterpie, you're not going to be on our team. Sorry. Yeah, so we're a very special defensive Bulbasaur, so this is good. Meaning if we get hit by a fire attack or ice, we should hopefully survive it quite, quite well. Uh, I'm gonna try and fight all of these guys. Um, once the um, timer runs out, I might just grind through the rest of it. Or not. Who knows? I, I don't know. It's It, it could go either way. Alright. If things start getting bad, I will use Leech Seed. But I believe we picked up... Oh yeah, we didn't win the first fight, so we didn't have money. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Uh, we do have Leech Seed to kind of keep us alive. But we also have two potions, from what I recall. Alright, another... Oh shit, oh, seven Weedle. Okay. Oh, criticals. I guess the game is compensating from our uh, first loss early game. At least I hope that's what it's doing. If it's mocking us, then I'm gonna be really pissed. Look at Bulbasaur. He's just... I don't know how people could not pick him. I mean, he's... He's a freaking dinosaur with a bulb on his back. He's adorable. I just... I don't get it. Alright, level 9. We are flying through this. And... Kakuna. Oh boy. This one we should probably reach seed. Because that's all Kukun is going to do is harden. And our tackle is no longer going to be good. So we might as well heal off a bit. Alright, let's just tackle it. Yeah, so it's just going to spam harden. So we're just going to heal off of this. Yeah, we're going to do nothing. Yeah, Leech Seed is going to... Yeah, well, this is a good, good thing that we got Leech Seed. Look at this, like, look how much... Like, watch how much damage Leech Seed, Leech seed does. So, I'd say about two hit points. Tackle, on the other hand. Okay, maybe they do about the same. <laughs> Look at that, and we're almost at full health. This is amazing. This is great. So let's just hit that. 
Yep, that was one damage. And Leech Seed will heal us for the remainder. Give us one health back. Yep, there we go. And you should get to level 10. Sweet. And we learned Bind Whip. Perfect. So if we wanted to, we could actually just try and run through everything and go fight Brock. But uh, I like an item. An antidote. Perfect. Uh, no, let's not go this way. Let's go this way. Do, 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 do. Uh, we are at the 20 minute marker, but let's just get through Veridian Forest at least. I really wish they put Venonat here. Uh, Venonat I would use for sure, but I already do have a poison type, so it eh, wouldn't be that great. Uh, oh shoot, okay. Bulby, let's do this. Punch that caterpillar with your face. Do it. Yes. Just like that. Perfect. Alright. Oh my god. There's so many. Um, so I'm going to try and do as many playthroughs of this as I can. Um, I'm going to try and get through this game as fun and as... Uh, like at, like at a decent pace. So I'm gonna try and get through it quickly, but not that it's not that I would be rushing through it. Uh, just I want to also do a lot more. I want to do um, if I was thinking of doing Pokemon Emerald, I'll put up like a um, suggestion somewhere, maybe or I'll just flip a coin. That wouldn't work, but whatever, no. Um, yeah, so, you know, playing either Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald would be fun. I think Emerald would be good, but Ruby does have Zangoose. I don't know. Let's focus on uh, doing this first. Alright. Let's beat that Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Oh, whoa. Calm down there. We're beating the Caterpie. Just the soundtrack of this. Ah, oh, it is so beautiful. They did such a good job. Like, even on the original, just the entire, like... N the one thing that I love about every single Pokemon game is the soundtrack. It's always really, really nice. It's always, um, it's nicely paced, but it's also, it's exciting. It's, it's really nice. Also, uh, Metapod, uh, I don't know if you can tell this, but the way he's facing is that his, uh, the little kind of, uh, V shape, the upside down V, uh, near the bottom left of his face is his mouth. And you can kind of see the other portion of his eye. For me, I always thought that um, the little crest from the top to the right was his nose. So he kind of had this like um, I don't I don't remember that character's name, but uh, it's it's just funny because like the end of his tail would be his mouth, and it kind of gives it like a very um, abstract kind of face. I always thought that's how it looked like, and then in the anime I watched, um, it actually showed me that its face was different. Um, its face is actually right at the bottom left, not the top right. The more you know. And we hit a crit. <laughs> what is that, three criticals? I'm not going to do a counter because it's going to get ridiculous. Um, Another Caterpie, damn it, okay. I don't know if that's doing more damage than Tackle, but we are running low of uh, power points for Tackle, so might as well use Vine Whip. Alright, level 
level 12, perfect. So normally what I would already have two Pokemon, I'd be kind of leveling them both. Another Metapod, goddamn. And I would normally have a Pidgey, Pidgey so this would be four times faster because uh, it would have Gust, so just critically, not critical, uh, super effective hit everything. Uh, does this do more damage? Yes, it does. Not very effective, but it does more damage, so. Oh, yeah, because we get a stab. Alright. So hopefully this Metapod should go down pretty quickly. Please. It's always a pain fighting metapods and cocoonies, because all they do is harden. Alright, just uh, just tackle it. Perfect. Oh my god, we are way over 20 minutes, jeez. I'm sorry, it's taking so long. I was actually expecting this to be a lot shorter, but, um... Yeah. Starting with the Bulbasaur, you have a slow start, kind of. Uh, mainly through this area, because you can't one-shot everything, like you would if I had a Charmander, right? Just Ember attack everything. And we would have already been at the gym, but... Choosing a Bulbasaur kind of makes the game a little easier at the very beginning and then it becomes a challenge later on. And I have one more guy to fight. Okay. I was thinking if I pick up a Pikachu here... Hmm... Wait, this is a wild Caterpie. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, let's uh... There we go. There we go. What's the hurry? Why the rush? Um, I need to end this episode because it's going to turn out to be half an hour and I don't want a half hour episode. But it's probably going to be half an hour. <laughs> okay. Level 9 Weedle, fuck. Oh shit. Yep. Nope, we have... Oh man. This is bad. Now you're going to see kind of the struggles of having a Bulbasaur, and probably one of the reasons why people don't like it. I can do seven hits, and I really hope I can take it down fast. Shit. Well, with this Leech Seed, it should help. Hopefully quite- yeah, it's helping. Okay, you're probably thinking, well, wouldn't Tackle do more damage? I don't know. It's a level 9 Weedle, so... Well, let's try using Tackle. See how much more damage it does. Of course, String, string Shot. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Mm, I think it was about the same. That one health. Yeah, no, if we had a Charmander, we would most definitely have been poisoned already. Alright, level 12. Oh my god, finally are we gonna get out of here? Can we get out? No more interrupted? No more interruptions? Fuck. Of course it's a Metapod. Okay, well, see ya. Alright, we're finally out of that. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to end the game right here, um, and in episode 2 we will continue right here. So thank you so much for watching, uh, if you are new to the channel I hope you are enjoying this. Once again I do encourage you guys to uh, play along with me if you do have the game or if you're just playing it on an emulator like me. And uh, yeah, make sure you watch our other videos, I'm going to be trying to post as much, well, I'm gonna try and posting, try to post more videos as much as I can mostly this series so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy hopefully you guys love this and i will see you in the next episode see ya